Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Did the windshield wipers on your Honda or Acura come up and hit the A-pillar during operation? Can you take one of the wipers and move it up and down freely? If you have any one of these symptoms, the information in this video will help you solve that problem. So if you're experiencing those symptoms on your Honda or Acura, you very likely have a problem with the wiper transmission uh, located on the motor underneath this cowl assembly. I'm doing this on a 1999 Honda Civic. However, this information applies to several Hondas and Acuras for several years. Uh, this is pretty much the design they use for, as I said, many, many years. So if you're experiencing these symptoms, this information may not be specific to your vehicle, but it most likely will help you. Job one is gonna to be to remove the windshield wipers. And they're normally held down by a 14 or a 17 millimeter fastener located here. In my case, they're 14 millimeter. After you remove the fastener, you may find that the wiper arm tends to stick on the stud coming up. In order to get it unstuck, go onto the pivot joint and push down a few times, and that should work it loose and allow you to remove it. The same thing with the other wiper arm. Now you need to remove this cowl assembly that covers up the windshield wiper motor. There are several ways to do this, but this is fairly typical for most Hondas of this vintage. But these little caps here, you can uh, sneak in with a pocket screwdriver and pull them up like this. And then, pop them out from there. This is hard to do one-handed, especially left-handed, but it's okay if it comes apart like this, as long as you get the center out, and then you can get the other piece out after that. So do that for all of those fasteners of that type. These don't have to come out as I showed on the first one. They just need to come up far enough to release the clip. If you have trouble, a little bit of WD-40 often helps. There are some additional clips holding the cowl down. Here's one here. I use this trim tool to uh, help to remove those. Sometimes I go under here with a pair of pliers and squeeze the uh, things that, that are holding them in place. You can just come in and just sort of pinch them and they come out a little bit easier. But follow this rubber seal. You may find some additional clips also uh, underneath it. And if you find them, well, Fry them up. But be careful, this stuff is plastic. With all the clips released, you should be able to remove the cowl piece now. Uh, be careful, once again, a lot of plastic here. Also, keep an eye on the clips. You don't want to lose them. What you may need to do, well, most likely what you're going to have to do is pull up on the center to try to get it past the hood. Uh, it may be looped around there, it may be a little tricky. And put this someplace out of the way. If you get this far, you're pretty much home free. Here's the motor wiper transmission assembly. It needs to be removed. This one is held down by 10 millimeters located here, 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 and here. Now these little plastic things on the uh, wiper motor assembly may come off. So you might wanna just take them off so you don't lose them, uh, cause you don't wanna drop those. Before you get started, disconnect the electrical connection on the motor. Now we can remove those four fasteners. With the fasteners removed, we can remove the wiper transmission assembly. Now let's go over to the workbench. This is where I can show you what causes this problem. Uh, in this particular case, it's this arm. It's one of these two arms. They have these plastic ends on them and they tend to break and wear out over time, and as they do, they get loose, like you see here. They should be secure as it is on this side. See how that one's not moving? If it's doing this, 
you found your problem. Do not remove any nuts, bolts, anything uh, with this. You just want to replace the offending parts. Now you can just replace the one part that's bad, but given that I have this assembly out, I've decided to replace both parts. Here are the part numbers for the pieces that I'm replacing today. Now I got these from Honda. I'm not sure if they're available in the aftermarket or not, but given that these are only about 12 bucks a piece, to me, that seemed like a, a reasonable expense for this repair. I'm gonna do these one at a time, uh, starting with this shorter one, which is this part number here. Uh, you just pop this off with like a screwdriver or equivalent. It's just a ball and socket that's in there, and you can get rid of that little plastic piece because that's part of what broke. You'll notice that it'll start to move around a little bit. I'm just going to pop this one off in the same way. So, and you can see that that's been that way for a while. It's getting a little worn out. Take the new part. No lubrication. Why? The part already has lubrication in it. So don't put anything on this. Don't, don't change anything. Just pop the, new, the old one off and put the new ones on. And for these, you can just, it doesn't really matter which way it goes on, this way or this way, just put it on. Pop it over the ball and socket. Just push it down till it, it's secure. And already, this is better. But we've got two, so let's do both. The other side also. The rubber part stays, if you were wondering. So keep the rubber part. Sometimes I've had to take a pair of pliers and squeeze these together. But most times I can just push them together by hand. And there it is, that's fixed. All I've got to do is reassemble now. I'm gonna reinstall the motor transmission assembly now. Uh, keys out of the ignition, so there's no way for this to turn on. That's why I plugged it in. In fact, you could go so far as to disconnect the negative battery cable if you like. Don't forget these little plastic covers if you remove them. At this point, you want to reinstall the cowl. I'm not going to do that on this vehicle because it has a cracked windshield that's going to need to be replaced. And in order to replace the windshield, you need to remove that piece. So there's no sense in putting it back on for me. However, I will reinstall the wipers to show you that the repair was successful. Now before you tighten these nuts down, position the wipers uh, where they were before. Make sure that the wipers were down when you remove it. I probably should have said that. Uh, during the removal process, but position the wipers where you want them uh, after the fact. With the wipers in position, you can tighten them down. Another common Honda Acura problem is the wiper arms. The paint tends to come off. Uh, while you've got these off of here, you might consider painting them before putting them back on, and that way you can prevent any glare later down the road. It's probably not a bad idea to also replace the wiper blades while you're doing this job. I'm doing both the painting and the wiper blades uh, after the windshield gets replaced. But now with the repair done, you can see you have very little movement. In fact, this would be considered normal. Now those are working like they're supposed to. Well, I hope this information helps you if you have loose wiper blades on your Honda or Acura. As stated at the beginning of the video, this is a very common issue on Hondas and Acuras. The good news is you now know how to fix it. Also, the parts are readily available and not that expensive from Honda, which is kind of unusual. And that may speak to how common this problem is. A little tip here. If it's winter time and the windshield is iced up, make sure you free up your wipers before you turn them on. That helps prevent this. Now granted, those little plastic things, well, they're kind of cheesy and tend to break. But you can help prevent them from breaking by making sure that your windshield wipers can move freely before you turn them on. Just throwing that out there. I'll put links in the description to the parts that I used. I'll also put a link in the description to a place that you can go and possibly find uh, the wiper arms for your Honda or Acura. Links to that will be down in the description along with additional information. So if you have questions about this video, 
please check the description for additional information. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head to ericthecarguide.com. Link to that in the description as well. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things that help me make a living. Really appreciate that. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.